Good afternoon. This is Wilfredo Aguilar bringing you the word of the day. Um, today it is June 5th. I uh, would like to uh, talk about it to you about being stronger in righteousness, um, being established in righteousness. Um, and today we're going to be using Old Testament. We're going to be using Isaiah 54. Um, it is great to have um, promises of God. Um, not in the future, but for the now. Um, it, is, uh, it is dangerous when we all our hope is in the future. When uh, there's a lot of stuff that... It's happening for the now that there's a big rest of God that we should go enter in uh, on his righteousness see um, something huge happened when Jesus died at the cross something very very big happened um, and based on that event you can tell what is yours and what is not um, and when you see when you see um, Jesus um, dying and resurrecting, um, and you see what the Bible. I mean, we have the old and the new. Um, we have a. Uh, uh, we can see like when Jesus said, "Hey, when I'm lifted up, the end, this is the end. This is the end of the of the the, the kingdom of darkness." Um, and. Um, he says that he he was resurrected and he was um, he ascended to heaven and sit, sat at the right hand side of the Father. Now God is not looking us at us; He's looking at Jesus in us. So we're now manifesting um, the life of Jesus, uh, the law of the Spirit of life. We're not justifying ourselves by the law by the by the by the law the law of God but we are just we're justified by the law of the spirit the spirit that gives life and um there's a very uh, beautiful passage in this in the book of Isaiah 54 um that talks about um it looks like it's in a future event um, something coming, uh, but I want you to to get those promises because in Christ, all his all the promises of God are yes, yes and amen. Uh, so they're for you. Take them because you need them right now. You need it at this point of time. Uh, and the first one is we must become stronger in righteousness. Um, Stronger in righteousness and in his, um, be established in his love for us, in his righteousness, be established in what Jesus did for us, and get stronger and stronger and stronger each day. Once you get stronger, stronger, there, this is this is where this this um, promises of God will will start. Even though they they look like they're for a future, they'll start to become real today for you. Uh, so the introduction, uh, Isaiah fifty four fourteen says, "You will be established in righteousness. You will be far from oppression, so you will not be afraid. You will be far from destruction, so it won't come near you. If anyone attacks you, it will not be, it will not be my doing. Whoever attacks you will be defeated by you." That's a big promise um, to be established in righteousness. Uh, it's it's interesting that even after they get a test, it says you will be established. It says whoever attacks you. I mean, uh, it would be nice if nobody else attacks you after you being established in righteousness. But it says whoever attacks you, it will not be by me. And it will be defeated by you because of your establishment in righteousness. They will always have enemies. Um I, they, they will be coming against us, uh, but the the word of God says for us to get established, to grow, to become solid in the righteousness of God, 
uh, that is in Christ Jesus. Not in our own righteousness, but in the righteousness of God. So the words of Jesus will establish our, our, our lives, our spirit, our lives in, in his righteousness. And we'll be able to defeat our enemies. He says, and the, 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 what, what I like is, is, is the, the, the word that says, um, you'll be far from oppression. Um, I, I don't know if you, you probably had some experiences where, where the enemy comes over your, your life, your family, and it starts oppressing. Um, the, and then puts all kinds of stuff. And it, you, you're like, you think that this is is the end, but in in as in an essence, it's that oppression is because you're making the transition from the law, from the words of the law of God into the righteousness of God that is in Christ Jesus. Um, so this is why there's oppression, and it's not because God is mad at you uh, or anything like that. It's because the enemy. Uh, it's trying to to um, to oppress you, and uh, but as you get established, as as you grow more in your knowledge of Christ Jesus being your righteousness, that He, he is all the righteousness that you need. He is all that you ever going to need. Then the oppress the oppression of the enemy will be far from you. He will start getting distance. It will be not. It won't be so close at your um, door, doorsteps uh, because of his righteousness. So the more you grow, the more you become established in that, it's getting stronger. You're going to get stronger and going to get stronger. And the Bible says, I don't forget that I am the Lord. In the, the, the Deuteronomy, Deuteronomy says, don't forget that I am the Lord. It gives you the power. I mean, to prosper, to for, to get wealth. So he, when he is the one that gives us the power to get wealth, he is the one that gives us the righteousness. He makes us stronger in the righteousness. You want to be strong in the righteousness of God. You don't want to be weak in the righteousness of God. Because if you are, you'll be oppressed. You'll be oppressed by the devil. But... If you're making the transition from the law of God to the law of God, you be expecting some kind of um, oppression um, because you are making your you you are getting stronger in the law of um, in the law. So so you're going from weak to stronger. So but as you get stronger in the righteousness of God, in all that Jesus did for us. In all his work, all his glory, because as he is, so are we. So as you get stronger in his righteousness, you be far from oppression. You'll be far from oppression. These, these are the promises of God for you. It's um, your youth will be renewed. It says um, this is the same path. This passage looks very similar to the ones where it says, "I will fill your mouth um, with um, with the." Uh, with, all good, with goodness. Um, this is almost the same passage as uh, he will adorn you with righteousness. Like it will be your ornaments. It's almost like decorating a tree, but instead of putting lights, he puts righteousness on you. You become stronger. I can, I can see you getting stronger in God through the righteousness of Christ Jesus. And as you get stronger, oppression is going to go far and far and far away from you and it says even if they do attack you and uh, even if there is an attack the the bible the the word of god says you will defeat you they will be defeated by you you will defeat them so even if the somebody dares to attack they will be defeated because you are strong in the righteousness of god in the righteousness that comes from christ jesus so now, look at this main message. We're going to read a portion from the uh, same chapter, 54, verses 9 through 17. And it says, verse 9, To me, 
This is like Noah's flood waters. When I swore on an oath that Noah's flood water would never cover the earth again. So now I swear an oath not to be angry with you or punish you. Um, God says uh, in the um, that He swore in the Psalms and then in um, and then later in Hebrew it says that He swore in His anger that they will not enter My rest when the Israel did not want to go fight and get the land. They disobeyed God and uh, God got so mad that He swore in His anger that they will never enter His rest. He swore in His anger. So now. It says, I swore, I swore that I will, it says, um, I swore a note that, uh, that Noah's flood water will never cover the earth again. So now I swear a note not to be angry with you or punish you. Never, ever again. The mountains may move, the hills may shake. But my kindness will never depart from you. His kindness are next to you, are with you forever because he, because of what Jesus did in the cross. Uh, says the Lord who has compassion on you. 11. You suffering comfortless storm ravaged cities, I will rebuild you with precious stones. I will reset your foundations with sapphire. I will rebuild your towers with rubies, your gates with sparkling stones. All your walls will... will with precious stones all your children's will be taught by the lord and your children's will be will have unlimited peace you will be established in righteousness and you'll be far from oppression so you will not be afraid you will be far from destruction so it won't come near you so it's almost like all those ruins in our city they get restored with with minerals um with um with the uh, with awesome awesome minerals and um that's our life that's our that this is our life so but what i want you to see is that is is you becoming strong you getting decorated with the righteousness of god um it says the benefit even your your kids will be taught by the lord and they will um they will have unlimited peace that is an awesome promise. It's nothing worse than a parent seeing their kids going through um, uh, problems and having uh, uh, having all kinds of oppression, depression. Uh, it's really, really bad. But it says here that you, they will have unlimited peace. They will be taught by the Lord. They will be shown by the Lord. So this is a promise because God is getting you stronger in righteousness in his words of in his words of the grace and truth um so it says on verse 15 if anyone attacks you again there's an if they, they, there's even though you are in peace even though you're stronger now in righteousness if anyone comes at you attacking you look it says you will be defeat they will be defeated by you I have created the blacksmith to fan the coals into flames and to produce useful weapons. I've also created the destroyed the destroyers to bring destruction. No weapon that has been made to use against you will succeed, will prosper. You will have an answer for anyone who accuses you. This is the inheritance of the Lord's servants. The victory comes from me, declares the Lord. So the victory comes from God himself. Uh, you just need to increase in his righteousness his righteousness is what jesus did in the cross for us he was made a curse so that we would be blessed uh, he that know no sin was cursed so he didn't deserve a, a, a curse but he got the curse you and i we don't deserve a blessing but we got a blessing that was the exchange the righteousness. Now we need to become stronger in that, in that righteousness, in that righteousness of God, so that that when our enemies come against us, we'll defeat him, because the righteousness of God is with us. The righteousness of the Lord is with us. That is the righteousness in Christ Jesus. You are strong in righteousness. You are strong in righteousness. Um, 
the words that come from the law. They will try to accuse you. They will form weapons against you, but you, they will not prosper. They will not su succeed because you are strong in the righteousness of God that is in Christ Jesus. So that's the word for today um, just to remind you to get stronger in the righteousness of God um, in his love and his love for you in his faithfulness for you in his work for you so that you're we able to enjoy his peace to enjoy not in the future but in the now you can enjoy his peace because you get stronger in the righteousness of God um, You're not growing weak. You're just making a transition from the from before being under the law, now being under the law of love, the love of God for you. So that's it for today. If you are on Facebook, subscribe to our post, our fan page, like our like our um, uh, post, uh, share them with your friends. Uh, we still need, I think, three likes to go get a hundred. Come on, we need three more likes on the fan page. Uh, we were zero subscribers on the YouTube cha uh, channel, but we now have one. Thank you. We're now one, so we're we're off the zero. Um, it's it's amazing, but we are have one subscriber, so that's good. Um, we'll be getting many, many more. It's just a matter of time. God will bless. He is blessing already. Um, um, this message of the gospel of Jesus is going forward. And we have nothing than getting stronger in the righteousness of God. Becoming strong so that oppression can get far, far from us. Because oppression makes you weak. Or makes you weak, makes you miserable. But when you live in the righteousness of God, you'll be happy You'll have joy, peace, and prosperity, abundance. So enjoy your righteousness. Enjoy your new strength in the righteousness of God. Uh, that's it for today. Have a great day. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.